Hello, I've gotten a request to do a hair curling tutorial. Now I recently talked about in a video my favorite curling wand and that's the one that I'm gonna use today. The wand is already on and I just put it on the default 370 degrees. And this is my natural hair. As you can see, it's a little bit wavy in places. I slept on it wet, woke up and brushed it out and here I am. First step is that I take a clip like this, put up the top layer. You just make it into a little bun and one clip is perfectly fine to secure my hair you don't need the most expensive thing i think these are goodie and i got a three or four pack for like three dollars i know that dry bar makes some really cute ones but they're also really big and bulky so i've been tempted by those before since i do use clips all the time but i can tell you anything lying around your house that clips your hair is perfectly fine i usually start on the left side here gather this section of hair and I take from the back just one little section and then I take the wand and put it upside down and wrap the hair away from your face. And it's okay if a couple hairs like poke out and then I usually hold each section for 30 seconds. And then once it's done, I unwrap just a little bit to catch the curl in my hand, but just to like hold the style for a little bit. And then you can see there is one little ringlet. Now my hair, as you've seen in most of my videos, does not stay in this ringlet form. I'll show you my brushing out process in just a minute. So I continue with the entire bottom layer. So I'll finish this side and then I'll show you the proper direction to wrap your hair around on the right side. Now this side is done, as you can see some are a little looser, like this is a really tight curl, this one is a little looser. I don't really care, it all sort of works out in the end. But now we're moving on to the right side, and I feel like this side is a little bit trickier for me, but I do the same thing. I gather the entire bundle and I pull a piece from the back. And I typically section off my hair into three to four pieces, just to give you an idea of the thickness once I've put up this top layer. So I take this back section, again I hold the wand upside down, and you wrap the hair away from your face. And a point that I forgot to mention just a few minutes ago was that as I'm wrapping the hair around, I'm constantly untwisting it. Now you can twist your hair around the barrel and it'll still create a very similar effect. I just think that if you have your hair flat, more of the surface of the hair actually touches the heat and so it tends to hold the curl a little bit better, at least in my experience. And if you see me looking down, I typically watch TV on an iPad in the morning in my bathroom. I'm watching Gilmore Girls because it's fall time. Everybody says it's a really fall show, and I agree. I binge watched the whole thing not too long ago, whenever the newest season of Gilmore Girls was coming out, and I had seen it some when I was like in middle school or something, just when it was actually coming on TV, but I'd never watched the whole thing all the way through, and it's a good show. I don't have any problem with how quickly the people speak. I know that that rubs some people the wrong way. Both sides on the bottom are done. You can see this one's being a little bit more voluminous and I didn't quite get the ends here, but I think that's what sort of makes this wanding style look a little bit more effortless and natural. So the fact that all of them don't look exactly the same is totally fine to me. So I throw those in the back and I don't really put product on my hair at all until the very end. So then it's time for me to take down this top layer and I divide this where my part is. So you have two sections here, and obviously because I part my hair on this side, this has a lot more hair. So that just means that this one doesn't take as long. So I typically do that one first, and I put this one back into its own little bun. I do the exact same thing because I just curled the right side. So upside down, wrap around away from your face. So in toward your face and away from your face and then I'm untwisting the hair as I go, and then hold for 30 seconds. And you can see I have just about like an inch or two of hair sticking out over here that I'm not putting onto the heat because I don't wanna risk burning my fingers. Because again, I don't use the glove that this tool came with because I think that it's more of a hassle to switch it and it has like some sticky properties to it, 
which I guess is part of the elements that make it heat resistant. So it actually ends up pulling different pieces of my hair and it's just way more of a hassle. And I figure I like the way that this looks and it's saving my ends a little bit. So it's really a win-win. Now it's time to take this side down. Then I just take my tangle teaser sometimes and have to brush this out, making sure that I'm not picking up any of the hair that I've previously curled. And then this side I can probably break into four sections. This one I did two. Just try to keep all of your sections about the same. I like to do mine about this, whatever this is. One and a half to two inch sections. Okay, so now every piece of my hair has been curled and the key now is to go in with the texture spray and the hairspray after I lightly brush through this because as you can see, this is not the most attractive thing to have little sections of hair ringlets. So I usually take this brush just because it's easy and just brush right through it. And as you can see, it loosens up the curl and makes it more of the style that you're used to seeing. So now you can see that all of the pieces have sort of come more together and it just looks like one big wavy section of hair versus the bunch of different little sections that I actually use to curl it. So let me grab the two products that I typically like to use and show you how I use them. Okay, now this is the first one and this is the Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. This is one that I mentioned in a FabFitFun video recently that I got as an add-on and I really, really like this. So what I do is just sort of hold my hair up like this in this very non-strategic way and just put the big volume spray into different sections. And you can see what volume that actually brought to the hair. Some people like to flip upside down and sort of do it at the back of their hair, but I find when I do that, it actually makes the hair a little bit, it makes it sit funny in the back and it's hard to brush out. So I actually avoid doing that. And then once the hair looks about like I want it, I take this hairspray, this is what I'm using right now. It's the Kristen S. Refine Signature Finishing Hairspray for all hair types. And I really like this because I like a really light hold hairspray and that's what this is. That's the finished look. I'll probably brush through this one more time after I let the hairspray and everything sit for a little bit, but I usually let it dry and let it hold its shape for a little while before I go and do that right before I walk out the door because I like to, for my hair to look like I can actually run my fingers through it even if there's a little bit of product because I want it to look a bit more natural. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you want to see something similar using a traditional curling iron, I'm happy to do it. But yeah, this is just a new kind of video for me. So let me know if you have any tips that can help this be better. But if you like this video, then like it and subscribe. If you want to stick around for more, join the community and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.